So at this point, she realized she messed up. And so did the guy that came to her defense. Because this man's hands are rated E for everyone. His hands don't see gender. His hands are proud advocates for gender equality. Stay tuned to see what happens next, man. You know the problem is with actual genuine violence. Most of you girls don't anticipate how quickly you'd be dispatched. Any idiot on the street, if he swings as hard as he can and hits you in the face, it's going to hurt. A lot of men who've been around the block, we have a propensity to violence. If you hit me in the face, I'm not going to panic. I've been hit in the face. I've been hurt. Most of you women have never even been hit. You never okay. felt a man's strength. If a real man were to grab you, it'd be feel like a car hit you. You'd be like, what the fuck? And there's no bullshit little arm lock you learn in some <laughs> Tuesday <laughs> class for $15 from some dyke that's going to save you. Alright, so I might not agree with Andrew Tate on some things, but this is facts right here, and facts is facts, is facts, is facts. You can't deny it. A lot of women don't know that we actually hold back, because we will hold back the truth in order to preserve their feelings. And we will hold back our strength because we know we will physically end them! You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy! Like, take for instance, you have this little boy going up against this grown-ass woman and still manage to put her down, bro. It's... And I've seen this clip before, but I just have to put it in this video again to show you guys that little boys, bro. He hasn't even hit puberty yet, and he was doing all that. So I think most adult women can be bested physically by teenage boys. Hey. Yeah, Yo, you might have just made a fact just now. That's some real shit. But anyways, man, my name is Jay Hall. Welcome back to another video. If you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube, my Instagram is right here. And I also live a double life as a musician, man. If you're an avid music listener, go ahead and check out my music. Link is below as well. We all know that the military isn't a place where you get to use the lady card quite often. And this woman in the pugil stick fight didn't seem like she needed it. She stepped into the middle of the crows quite confidently as she took her stance. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of that confidence was completely knocked out of her in the first round as her male opponent charged toward her. I don't know about you guys, but that looked personal. That looked personal, man. Maybe they used to date or something, or maybe she chose his friend over him. I don't know, man. That hit packed some emotion right there. But in the military, you can't afford to be soft, man, because you're gonna be out there serving the country, man, and protecting the country. You can't afford to be soft. You can't afford to be caught lacking. It sure takes a lot of confidence to challenge a boy to a fight on the beach. In this case, we can tell that she's not telling the story to anyone but her best friend. After standing her ground several times, the young boy made sure she had herself in the dust for all three rounds, till finally he was announced the winner. So what I can see from this video is that he was holding back because like those moments where he just put her down to the ground That's when he actually used his his man strength <laughs> yeah, Check out this MMA match Circle out of that cage Oh, and that is all over Shane Mistrano with the big right hook to end this fight in the first round now, things like this is very hard to watch. That's why I don't like these intergender matches, bro. I don't think men and women should be competing, especially in fights. Boo! You stink! The military ain't no joke, man. The military ain't no joke. So you better, you better be able to handle your own. Starting off the match strong, both fighters were quickly down to the ground, gripping and punching at each other. However, in no time, the man had her in a choke lock till they were both separated by the referee, all in the space of a minute. Man, this man was like, you know what? I was gonna take my time, but you know, I'm kinda hungry and I got my girl waiting, about to give me some cheeks. Let's wrap it up. 
And that's exactly what he did. He wrapped it up in under a minute. Guess he can now get to that appointment of his. Okay, okay, she got him. She got him to choke. Okay. Ooh, what are you about to do? Okay, he definitely used this as an excuse to grab her ass. You know what I'm saying? I would have definitely did the same thing. Ass grabbing one on one. <laughs> she just seemed like a good sport though, you know what I'm saying? He maneuvered and overpowered her pretty fast while grabbing the booty cheeks. That's his very exceptional skills right there. You know what I'm saying? Very exceptional. Can you fight? Yeah. What makes you think you can fight? Huh? What makes you think you can fight? Nationally ranked. Ooh. Wow. In what? In the name. So what's your stance? Freestyle. Freestyle? Well, give me a boxing stance as an MMA. I don't box. Well, I know, but when you start out, you're going to box. Oh, shit. Bro, so how will you take me down, bro? I would just, I would just choke slam this guy. You know what I mean? But show me. I'd be like this. Oh, shit. Damn, bro. Hey, hey. Hey, you think you can knock him out? I'm not I wish you would. Oh, we can do it. Sign the contract. I wish you would. Sign the contract. Fuck the contract. Sign the contract. Hey. Fuck the contract. Hey, this is Texas. Hey, this is Texas. I'm a street nigga. Hey, hey, we can we can have a mutual. Uh, we can do whatever. They, uh, mutual combat. Mutual combat. Yeah. Let's do it. Combat, let's, go. Yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, he's a legit fighter, man. He's talking about contracts. That's when you know your hands are a registered weapon. You can't just go around starting street fights because there's a risk that you could affect your fighting career. And I'm not going to lie, you probably would have laid out my mans over here talking about he's a street nigga. He would have dropped fast because as you can see, my guy had no fear in his eyes. He was ready. But then he remembered that, damn, I'm a fighter. I'm a legit fighter. I got to move different. Can't be out here having street fights and shit. Equal rights, equal fights, part one. Okay, so as you can see, this lady is being very rude proceeds to grab a banana, throw it at him, and then, boom, this man does not hesitate. <laughs> he grabs like some metal container, bam, just Damn. Like that your ass. But she deserved it, definitely deserved it. Like, why would you throw a banana at him? But yeah, now you yeah, can why you throw a banana? Why are you throwing bananas at people? people? You know, Didn't your parents like, teach you any manners? He fought back, even though that's the right thing to do. Damn, bro. He's destroying all his stuff, and he's just taking it. Now take a close look, but she ends up throwing something at his head, boom. Honestly, really people don't get paid enough for this, bro. This bitch needs yeah, to be he, humbled. Yeah, he mad now. He <laughs> mad. Shit. He tired of her now. <laughs> Fucking slaps her and <laughs> throws her out by the hair. Oh Just like God. that, bro. It's that easy. It's that easy. First of all, if that was me in that position, I would have to do the same thing. I would have to drag her ass out because I don't get paid enough for this. I get paid minimum wage to deal with this bullshit. Hell no. You getting out my store. Throwing bananas and shit. Get the fuck out. Get out. And this video right here that I'm about to play, I found it randomly on YouTube. And it's, it's actually pretty funny, man. This man is what you call rated E for everyone. He got hands for everybody, man. It's kind of like that one video called The Slap. Larry, what the hell are you doing? Larry, Larry, you can't just... Oh, Larry, oh, my God, Larry, Larry. Now, uh, look, look at this. He, he slaps her. He comes in defense. Beats him, too. Then more guys come in defense. You still beating them. <laughs> Music got me dying though. Why did they choose this song? This man taking on everybody, bro. He's taking on everyone. He don't care. <laughs> he don't care, man. These hands don't see gender. They're ready to eat for everyone. Equality. <laughs> Oh man, bro. And I'm not advocating for violence, guys, but it is good to defend yourself in the right situations, man. If it won't land you in jail, you gotta pick and choose your fights, man. You can't just fight off of pure emotion. You gotta have a calm mind and assess the situation. And me personally, when it comes to women, I don't believe in putting hands on women unless they're trying to kill you or some shit. I, I believe in creating space between you and the woman. Maybe like push her back and create space. And if she continues to pursue, push her back harder. But with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.